There is no credible evidence that the shots were fired from the triple underpass ahead of the motorcade or from any other location. That film was shot by another amateur cameraman, Orville Nix, who was standing on the opposite side of the road to Abraham Zabruder. The remarkable thing about the Nix film is that without realizing it, he'd captured the gunman on camera. And it's only with the latest image enhancing techniques that we can reveal the previously undetected contents of his film. Clearly, the presidential limousine is in the foreground, behind the grassy knoll on which Zabruder is standing. And to the left of the monument, at the top of the knoll, a figure apparently in a firing position, close to an estate car. Comparisons with another amateur film shot seconds after the assassination reveal that the man and the car have gone. In these crucial frames, Nix had captured the man who fired that second shot into Kennedy's throat. There is no question in the mind of any member of the commission that all the shots which caused the president's and Governor Conley's wounds were fired from the sixth floor window of the Texas School Book Depository.